Gary, we certainly had chances to win the game. Uh, Charlton had chances to win it at the end as well. Was it a draw fair for you? Yeah, I think it probably was in the end. Uh, I think we started incredibly well. Uh, some of our play was tremendous in the first 10 minutes. Scored a very good goal. Could, could have scored more in that period for me. And then the disappointing thing is we then stopped doing what we, we did well in that period uh, and, and made the game a 50-50 game after that. And Second half, they, they have a fantastic squad. They bring on bigger, stronger players. They, they, they put the ball forward. They put you under pressure. We didn't control the game at that point with possession and, and we didn't kill the game off with the, with the few chances we had to go 2-0 up. So uh, we'll take a point, but I think we need to be better in terms of the 90 minutes game. It's not about just taking the lead and the game will become easy. We have to keep doing the, the things that got us in front. Certainly was a bright start. A goal inside six minutes. Um, and something we spoke about pre-match was how you wanted the crowd to really get behind the players. And we, and we certainly felt that inside the first 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I said to the players, intent to score in the first 15 minutes has to be our, our uh, start in the game. When you've not played for two weeks, it can be easy to start slowly and, and build into the game. But I thought the players were outstanding in the first 10 minutes. The way they took the game to Charlton... We, we did our rotations and our, our kind of the way we played through was fantastic. The tens were causing problems. Our wide players were a threat in behind. Uh, we scored a brilliant goal. Uh, we were left centre back in the box. I thought we could have, you know, scored more in that period. And then we slowed the game down and we made the game a 50-50 game. And watch Charlton are very good. And the game became too uh, too back and forward for me where we we didn't have control. And saying that, we still created chances where I think we could have scored that second goal and, and killed the game off. But in the end, we, we take a point because they had a big chance near the end. We had, we had moments near the end where we, we could have scored, but uh, we'll take a point and move on. It did feel like we could be talking about a completely different uh, result, a really unfortunate deflection off check for their equaliser. Yeah, but they had other chances in the game, so I'm not going to kind of uh, bemoan that. It's... it's you know, part of the game. I thought we could have stopped crosses better. I thought we could have defended the box better. It was far too easy for them to, to win first contacts and second ball. So uh, I said to the players, there's areas we have to improve. It's, it's a fight in point, but in the next six games, I want the performance to be a lot better than it was today. And, uh, and our, our kind of way of playing to impose that on the opposition, not just for 10 minutes, for 90 minutes. And if we do that, I think we win the game. Very impressed with the durability, particularly of those players who travelled overseas for the international break. 90 minutes for Omari on Tuesday, 90 today. I think Yannick had to travel back from the Netherlands as well and played, was it 65 minutes or so? Yeah, I thought they were two of our better players. I thought Yannick was excellent and, and you know gave us physically what he could. And I mean, he's remarkable what he does uh, and everything, really. His, his attitude to the game is absolutely incredible. His energy levels are incredible. Uh, so delighted with, with what both of the, the players gave us. All eyes now, of course, turn to the game against Cheltenham on Monday, backed by 1,500 City fans um, who are certainly going up there. I don't think expectation is the right word, but they'll certainly want to, to see a decent performance. Yeah, definitely. We want to see a performance. We want to see a win. Uh, we're four games unbeaten now. We have to continue that run. Uh, so we go there with belief. Uh, and, and like I said, I, I want us to impose ourselves on the game for 90 minutes. I want us to play our way for 90 minutes. We're going to get put under pressure. Cheltenham have, have made you know massive strides since the manager came in early season. Uh, so we'll get put under pressure. We have to be big in that moment and we have to see those moments out. But the biggest thing for me is we, we have to play our way and we have to impose ourselves on the game for, for the whole game. We know that internally as, as a group, as management, you'll have targets that you won't share for, for, for the last few games of the season. But... If you look at the last six, is it is it just put, continue an unbeaten run and, and finish the season as strong as possible? Yeah, it's win the next game. It's always our target to, to focus on the next game, win the next game. So we recover tomorrow, we prepare Sunday, we're travelling up on Sunday and, and looking after the players with nutrition, physically. We'll get recovery in the pool after training on Sunday. We will be fully prepared to, to give it everything again to win the game and that's how we have to be for the remaining six games.